Here's the way I use my communication device which differs from everyone else. Like I said earlier in this presentation, I use my Toby like a regular computer. I've never liked being trapped in a communication program, that can take a few minutes to go from one environment to another, like speaking, then surfing the internet, to speaking again. This is what works best for myself, and might differ from what works for someone else. Remember, there's no wrong or right way to use your device. The only Toby software I currently use, is a program called Windows Control. It has mouse icons on a toolbar at the side of the screen, and you can eye gaze select, which mouse functions you need to use. For myself it's quick, and easy to understand. It's a simple way to use your Toby like a regular computer. It has all the functions of a computer mouse. You have left click, right click, scroll, click and drag, and double click. It has a customizable keyboard, and a few other features as well. Hi. Windows Control is made up of two different kinds of control components, gaze selection and mouse emulation. What you're looking at on the screen on the right-hand side here is actually gaze selection. What it does is it allows for a two-step process to make selections and control your whole interface, including swipes and things like that that exist in Windows 8 and Windows 10. Uh, you lay out all of the commands along one side of the screen or the other. You can move them back and forth. And you, you make a two-step selection process by basically first thinking about what you're going to do, like if I'm going to click the Start menu, here and then you look at your click until it registers then you look back at the start menu and it'll zoom in and make its click to open the start menu like that so that's the same thing for all of the different commands that you can do and it allows you a much more relaxed way of clicking because all the areas around the rest of the screen here uh, when you look around and when you, you move your gaze nothing actually happens but when you look at the at the taskbar as you see it's following my eyes as I look up and down which allows you also to go into settings and control the different types of settings that exist with your eyes, changing the keyboard language, changing the different tasks on the taskbar, and so on. Uh, adding different word prediction languages for the word prediction keyboard, the speed and the precision of the zoom, or even switching back and forth to whether or not you want to select with a physical switch or just using your gaze. So that's basically gaze selection. It's, uh, it's uh, an absolutely fantastic way of uh, using your eyes to uh, control your entire interface. Now, let's look at all the mouse icons in the Windows Control toolbar. The top icon looks like an upside down <laughs> teardrop with a dot in the middle. It's not used that often. It's the mouse hover feature, and it's not the easiest feature to explain, so here I go. When you go to a website that has a drop down menu, by using this icon, and selecting the target it will bring the drop down menu down. If you ever moved your mouse cursor to a location on the screen, and something appears and then quickly disappears, then try this teardrop hover icon. It will hold it open. The online videos don't explain this feature very well, except to say it makes your cursor hover. Now, the next icon is the highlight drag and drop icon. It looks like two ovals with a little arrow through the ovals. You can use this feature to highlight an object or text. It's the same thing as holding the left computer mouse button down, and highlighting or to move files and folders to different locations. You can highlight text to remove or relocate as well. Now, the next icon looks like a diamond with a dot in the center, it's used to scroll. Usually, you scroll up and down, but in Windows Control using this feature, you can scroll side to side as well, on websites or documents. The next icon is the left click. It's just like the left click button on a computer mouse. It selects whatever you want, on websites or programs. It's the most used mouse function. 
The next icon is complicated to explain, so I'll save it for the end. The next icon is the mouse right click. It's used to give you additional options for an icon, page, or program. The double left click icon. It's used to open programs and apps from your desktop. The next icon is the Windows Control Keyboard. It's possible to modify this keyboard with a little programming. It has word prediction, which makes it quick and easy to use. You will notice little arrows at the sides of the keyboard. It's to scroll through the different keyboard option pages. It's to save room and makes this keyboard quicker to use compared to most eye gaze keyboards. I've modified my keyboard to fit my needs. I've switched the space bar and the enter button due to accidental selections using my eyes. I moved the question mark, comma, and period selections as well. The little gear icon is for the Windows control settings. That's where you can add or remove icons on the toolbar. You can set the speed of the keyboard gaze time, speed of the time to select your target, or select languages. If you have all the icons activated on the toolbar, it's extremely difficult to select an icon, due to its reduced size and its close proximity to the other icons. I usually keep four or five icons on the toolbar, for ease of use. It also depends what task I'm trying to do, on which icons I select to be on the toolbar. Now, the complicated icon we skipped earlier. It has multiple features all rolled up into one. When you select this icon with your eyes it opens to a sub-menu with six choices. One option is an X at the bottom right. It's used to hide the window control toolbar into the side of the screen, leaving only a little arrow to bring the toolbar back. If you are watching a video or a movie it's a nice way to hide the toolbar. The bottom center option has a line with two arrows pointing outward. It's used to move the windows control toolbar from one side of the screen to the other. I generally like the toolbar to be on the right side of the screen, but sometimes I have to move the toolbar to gain access to the top right corner of the Windows box, if the program I'm using isn't scaled correctly. The Windows icon at the bottom left of the screen, is to activate the start menu for Windows. The upper left option has three overlapping rectangles, it shows all the current running programs onto the screen. It's meant to switch from one program to another quickly. The only time I use this feature, is when I'm stuck in a program that is in full screen, without the Windows box, so I can exit. The option in the center that looks like a circle, is used to activate Cortana. It's equivalent to asking Alexa or Siri for help. It's a good feature if you have your voice. The upper right option which looks like an envelope, opens the Windows Notifications menu. The top portion of this menu has no function. These are all the options in the Windows Control Toolbar. This is the program I use to control my Toby. With Windows Control I can do so much more, compared to be locked into a communication program. You can run any third-party apps to achieve your needs, which is generally better than using the features in a communication program.